In today's tutorial, I'm going to showcase you how you can leverage Flipper Zero and GPIO pins in order to control this breadboard where I have customized Flipper sign uh, that uses a bunch of the LED diodes that are connected. So uh, let me explain how this was created. So as you can see, each uh, column over here or the contacts in the columns are actually connected, but contacts within the row are not connected. So that's why uh, I needed to connect them uh, by myself. And basically on this breadboard, each uh, plus or plus on each diode must be connected to the plus contact on another diode. And same actually needs to happen for minus contacts. The connections are made, which you can see it well, the co connections are made through the copper cables and each letter uh, have an output for plus and minus to common bus, which is over here. And in this board I'm using one resistor over here to bring uh, down the voltage. Okay, let's get started. So as a first step, we are going to connect the breadboard with the flipper zero using five volt on GPIO uh, option. So you see like on flipper, we navigate to GPIO and then select the option five volt on GPIO. Currently it is set to off. So let's keep it for right uh, for now. Uh, turn off while we plug the breadboard with custom flipper sign using the LED diodes. And you see like now we can, after everything is connected, we can turn it on and you see the flipper sign light up. So you see that flipper zero is able to control uh, the LED diodes on our breadboard. Now to showcase you more closely how this is connected. So if we look at the GPIO pins that are available, we have connected the minus to the GND, which is ground and the plus uh, we from breadboard, we have connected to five volt pin. And this was able to uh, light up this sign. So let's move now to the second test. So now we are going to do much simpler test. So we are going to take only one LED diode and control it through the same 5 volt on GPIO uh, menu option. So you need to check on LED diode what sign is plus versus minus. Uh, and when you have it, you connect the minus to the ground and plus to the 5 volt uh, GPIO port. And you see, the LED diode is actually uh, uh, up and running and providing us the light. Uh, we can turn it off manually here. Just make sure that uh, you're using the correct uh, LED diode. Uh, otherwise, the LED diode might burn out or become very hot. So be careful with such testing. Now let's look at the third option. So now we are going to control the LED diode through GPIO manual control option on the flipper. So what will happen? We will reconnect our LED diode to some other port and it doesn't matter which one. So just the minus uh, connector you will plug to the ground GND port and the plus you can connect anywhere from A7 to C3. So in this case, I'm going to use C3 port. And then we are going to move from the flipper zero menu option uh, to GPIO manual control, where we can select the plus uh, connector where our LED diode is connected, um, because ground is always the same. So in this case, we are going to choose C3 pin port. Once this is selected, the LED will not uh, manually turn on. We need to press the uh, middle button on the flipper to turn it on. And it will be 
providing us light only when we hold this particular button as you can see on the screen now let's have a look into another option which is called flashlight so here now we will go on our flipper zero to the apps section gpio where we have some customized scripts and let's find the one for flashlight and then you can just press ok to turn the flashlight and the flash flashlight script has been created uh, for uh, the LED diode when it is connected to C3 pin port and ground which is the uh, the case um, uh, right now for our LED diode so it's exactly connected the right place and you will see like instead of just pressing and providing and seeing the light coming out of the LED diode when we press once the LED diode will stay turned on and will not like disable we need to manually disable it on our own so this is very similar to the GPIO manual control test so now let's look at another example so now uh, let's take into consideration of our custom use case where we have flipper sign connected to our breadboard and we are going to make sure that the lights are not uh, displaying the light uh, too much uh, so that they are not burning up not overheating so we are going to trim down the 5 voltage down to uh, 2.5 volts with the resistor number one so you will see that I have connected everything to 5 volt uh, pins on flipper and this the flipper sign is uh, light up so in this case I'm using the resistor which has uh, 810 ohms so here is also calculation uh, based on the colors of the resistor the resistor hell and this will bring down the voltage down basically and i have a multimeter for which i'm going to actually validate like how much this 810 ohm resistor bring down the voltage so you see like the flipper sign is connected through breadboard to flipper to 5 volt um, pin but the actual voltage as you can see on the multimeter is 2.51 volts and when it is obviously disabled now we don't have any voltage now let's look at the another use case where we will bring down the foul voltage to around 3.06 voltage with the different resistor so we will unplug everything and we will also de remove the resistor number one and swap it with the resistor two this resistor is actually having 4.7 ohms as you can see presently on the screen and you see that the flipper sign light up much strong, stronger so we should expect to have much more voltage coming uh, through uh, those LED diodes from the flipper so you see like actual voltage is 3.07 volts now let's now let's now do uh, one more test which is GPIO manual control but using this custom built breadboard with the flip flipper sign so what we will do we will change the pin uh, how the breadboard is connected we will move it from the uh, 5 volts into the let's say a7 port and then on the flipper we are going to use the gpio uh, manual control and select a7 pin port and you see like when i'm pressing the button the full flipper sign will light up or uh, will power off so let's try to also see if other pins are providing five, five volts in this uh, state so 
I have some assistant that will press the button and you see the flipper now has 2.6 volts 2.6 volts uh, even though the resistor did not change which was uh, which we had before the volts 3.06 with the same resistor but we just changed the pin on the flipper from 5 volts to A7 and this concludes, concludes our test, testing and that's all see you next time